Uh, hello friends today in this tutorial I'll be showing you that uh, how to resize your images in the browser using a react library called as uh, react image file resizer so today I just explored this library it's a very popular library you can see that 48,261 weekly downloads so many developers react developers use it and this is a very simple command to install this module which is npm i react image file resizer so this is a module which you need to install here there is a very ex a basic example which is given here so let me just show you the demo of this application what will we will be building here so basically you will see there is a choose file button if you click this button you will be redirected to open your favorite image file so if you just select this file automatically your image will be resized to whatever dimensions that you have put in so if you just copy paste this source code here you will see that you can change the dimension here inside this source code so whatever dimension that you put here for width and height it will automatically change your image to that width and height so if I select the image you will see that this is now you can right click save this image inside your computer right here so you can see that the width is 200 you can increase the width to 500 and the height as well to 500 now if you test it if you select the same image now you will see the image is looking good it is 500 in width and 500 in height so once again right click save image as and now you will see a bigger image so in this way guys you can resize the images on the go so whenever you upload them you can resize them accordingly with custom width and height so basically this is the base 64 code which is uh, the image is converted to base 64 code so if i just show you copy image address if i open this image in new tab you will now see this is a base 64 code the image is converted to so basically whenever we re resize the images the base 64 code is there of the images this is the full url of the image so in this way we are resizing the images so you can just provide any custom width and height so, so let's start building this application from scratch guys so just create a brand new react.js project by this command npx create react app so i have created this brand new react.js project so our app.js file is empty so first of all guys you need to install this module so just npm i react image dash file resizer this is the name of the module so simply install this by using this command guys so this will hardly take 5 to 10 seconds after installing it you can start your project by npm start so this will start your application so now we will write the code step by step guys so if you face any sort of problem you can go to my blog post that i written inside my coding section website so this is the blog post that I have written. Uh, all the source code is given, step by step instruction is given. So if you face any sort of problem, you can go to this blog post, which is there inside video description. So let's start writing this code guys. So the very first thing we will do is that we will import the... So guys, the internet connection was lost. So now it is once again restored. So if you're watching it, please hit the like button, subscribe the channel as well. So the internet connection was lost. That's why it was disconnected. So we will be making this class level component guys inside React. So it is com extending the component library. So it is automatically, you can see it is included right here at the very top. So inside this uh, class level component guys, so we will need to make the constructor here, props, and inside this constructor we will first of all call the super method passing the properties and then basically we will have this file changed handler function and we will initialize this to this dot file changed handler file changed handler and then we will declare the state variables so the state will be having new image variable which will be empty by default so now we need to render something on the screen guys so for rendering it we will have a simple a choose file button so with the help of which you will be able to select your image files so 
inside this div we will have a input file input type will be of file and we will attach this on change so whenever you click this button uh, this function will execute which is this file change handler so close this and after that we will display the image just right below it image source so this will be this dot state dot new image that's it so close this so now if you open this your application so it is saying that uh, your you need to first of all export this component so export default app so if you does do this now you will see your ch choose file button if you click it you will be able to select the image file so now we need to write this function guys which will be executed whenever we select the file so file changed handler so we will make this function file changed handler simply this will be having the event passed to it the file change event so first of all inside this we will declare a file input which will be false by default and here we will check inside the if condition that if event dot target dot files zero if it is set then we will make file input to true so this simply means that if the file is selected by the user and if the file is valid then we are basically making this variable from false to true so we have a input so then we will again check inside if condition if file input is true in that case we need to resize the file resize the image so we will be doing this process inside try catch block so whenever we want to do some complicated task we use the try catch so basically if any sort of error take place we can catch that error console log so inside this try block guys what we need to do is that we need to use the resizer module and inside this there is a method called as image file resizer and inside this we will first of all pass our image which is present inside event.target.file0 and uh, the second parameter guys is the width so maximum width so we need to make it as uh, let's suppose 200 the height 200 and then the extension this can be either jpg or png so i will be choosing jpg then is it is the height 100 and 0 and then guys we have have the callback uri this will be a callback function when it is completed console log uri so we will make sure we will convert this into base 64 so this set state we will set this new image variable to uri that's it so this is basically guys this is the base 64 code of the image and we are setting this to the new image variable so we are just setting to the source variable that's it so after this you need to put a comma and here you need to put base 64 the output format and then the width and the height 400 by 50 that's it so that's completed guys so the application is now complete let me now test it if i choose any file here uh, let me see if cannot read properties of undefined set state Uh, so all the source code is present guys let me just copy this and paste it sometimes error can take place while you live code so now if i restart the application choose the file and now you can see it is successfully resizing it to the custom width and height so in this way guys you can do it inside your react.js application using this library which is react image file resizer all the source code is given in the video description in the blog post so you can just copy paste all the source code please hit the like button subscribe to the channel and i will be seeing you in the next live stream